guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the possible returning characters for Heartland Season 14. But before I get into that, I have a quick favor to ask of you guys. So I've been reading my comments recently, and one of the comments I'm seeing over and over again is that I talk too fast in my videos. I apologize for this. Um, I find it very difficult to talk slower but still remember everything that I need to say. But with that being said, I'm going to try my best to talk slower in this video. So if you guys find it easier to understand me in this video than my previous videos, please let me know uh, that you enjoy when I talk at this speed rather than the previous videos. So if I make it easier for you to understand, please, please let me know um, in the comments because I'm trying to find a um, speed that people can understand me and find it easier to follow what I'm saying, but I can still remember what I need to say. Um, so if you could please leave a comment if you find it easier to understand me in this video, I would really appreciate that. But now, let's get into today's video. So, um, friendly reminder to please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to help me reach the goal of 20,000 subscribers. But with that being said, let's finally get into today's video. So, disclaimer, I am not at all in any way, shape, or form affiliated with Heartland. I don't work for CBC, I don't know Caster Crew, I've talked to... Uh, cast of Heartland multiple times, but at the end of the day, I do not know anything that is going to happen in season 14 of Heartland. So with that being said, nothing I say in this video is confirmed. It is just my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas on what can make season 14 of Heartland even better and help uh, progress and tell the greater Heartland story. Um, so with that being said, let's jump right into two of the characters that I want to see return the most, and that is Lily and Wade Dalton, or Lily Borden and Wade Dalton, whatever way you want to look at it. I love these characters. I don't understand why Ty's parents, well, Wade's a stepfather, but I don't understand why his uh, parents are not in the show more. It seems to me that we hear more of Marion than we do of uh, Ty's parents, which is really odd to me considering that we haven't seen Marion since, you know, uh, season one, episode one. And it seems to me that it would mean, it would, um, uh, be a lot easier to just bring Ty's parents to Heartland instead of just having to um, him to go see them. I don't understand why they don't come to Heartland more and you know see their grandchild. It, I I don't get it. Um, and I I'm a huge fan of Megan Follows acting as well as the guy who plays Wade. I can't remember his name, so I'm not even gonna try because I don't want to get it wrong. And then. For you guys to be like, no, this is his name. Um, so Lily and Wade, I want to see them return because it seems really weird to me that they're not in the show more, considering that uh, they're Ty's parents. And whenever we hear of them, it seems like Ty is always going to visit them, and they're not coming to Heartland, which is very weird to me. Um, and I would love to see them on the show more. And then the next character I want to see return is Ashley. And this is because I think it would be really cool to see Ashley interact with Caleb now that uh, Caleb is married to Cass. And um, since we learned in season 13 that they are expecting a baby, I think it would be very interesting um, for Ashley to come back. Maybe she's married, maybe she has a kid, and then she comes to visit Amy and Caleb is still working at Heartland or something, and then they bump into each other, and it's like, awkward but not i think that would be a really really uh cool thing to see and i would love to see her, just her character back on heartland in general i think that it'd be it, it's it would be really awesome to see characters that we haven't seen since you know season one season two and just see with where their character is now because i do know that the writers of heartland don't forget the characters that they have created it is just that the um, nine times out of ten, the actor or actress who portrays that character has moved on to bigger and better things, which is fine, although I don't know why you would want to stop working on Heartland. The show's amazing. The cast seem like the sweetest people on the planet, but, you know, that's fine. I respect that they want to go on and, uh, you know, further their career by acting in uh, what they think would be bigger and better movies. So that's completely fine. I think you would just be really cool to see characters that we haven't seen for a while. And then the next character I want to see return is Joe. I find Joe's character fascinating. I don't know why because 
Actually, I do know why. It's because I have talked before about how it is important to know a character's backstory. And Joe is a part of Ty's backstory that hasn't been explored a lot in Heartland. We know that Ty got into some trouble. We know that uh, Joe was there for him. And uh, Joe is the reason Ty didn't Ty ended up at Heartland, let's say, um, and instead of somewhere else. I can't say where because this is a family-friendly channel, but if you guys have watched Heartland, you know what I'm talking about. But I just, I think it'd be really cool to see Joe back, and especially because when we saw him last time, he left on not-so-great terms with Ty, so it would be really interesting to see him return um, and just see his character again and see his interaction with uh, Ty and Amy considering the last interaction that they had together. So that being said, I would love to see Joe return as a character in season 14. The next character I want to see return is Ahmed. I love Ahmed's character. I don't know why, I know that he like ruined Ty and Amy's relationship, but his character is so fascinating to learn about to me. And I love the arc that he brought into the story. I think that it was super cool and I would love to see him um, work with Amy again. Maybe we find out that Ahmed is like Luke's father or something and then he, uh, Ahmed comes back and finds out that Ty and Amy have been uh, looking after Luke and then to see how he would react to that. I think it would be super super cool and I would love to see uh, just because I love Ahmed's character and I think he could totally add something to the story, especially if we found out that he was, like I said, uh, Luke's father or something like that. But um, the last character I want to see return is Soraya. Um, I find it weird that we don't hear of her at all anymore, considering that she was Amy's best friend. I'd love to see um, what is what she up to now. You know what what's going on in her life. How has her character uh, grown up? Um, developed since we last saw her in Heartland, which was a long time ago. I would love to see her character return and just interact with Amy, meet Lindy, maybe she has a kid or a few kids, they come back and maybe Ashley, Soraya, and Amy's kids all have a get together. I have no idea. I think that that would be super cool. But with that being said, that's all the characters I want to see return for Heartland Season 14. I know you guys are going to be mad that I didn't say Mallory. I am not a fan of Mall Mallory's character. Never have been, never will be. Um, so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Who do you want to see return in Heartland Season 14? and why. And also, if you guys found it easier to understand me in this video, uh, let me know down in the comment section down below. Please, I'm really trying to find a speed um, that I can talk at that I can remember what I need to say, but you guys can also understand me. So if you find it easier, to, you found it easier to understand me in today's video, please let me know. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe to help me reach the goal of 20,000 subscribers. And I will keep you guys updated on daily Heartland videos and season or with daily Heartland videos and season 14 updates. So if you don't want to miss out on any very important Heartland season 14 information, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on my notifications so that you will never miss a video in the future. But with that being said, I'm gonna go good bye